What is up you guys? So I know you guys have been seeing me like all over the news and my videos like it's like 13k right now and still going up. Um, left and right still getting phone calls from all the new news agencies and all this stuff. Going through like a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to make videos and vlogs and everything. Just I'm gonna just try to make them as fun as possible. Just want to give you another like little update. Um, so yeah, I've been like uh, going left and right. I just want to talk with you guys really quick. So I had a news agency, and I can't. I'm not gonna say the the name of it or anything because I just don't want any problems or just any of that type of stuff. But I had a news agency come here yesterday, and um, for some reason they like cross track reference something like that, and uh, they they shot me a message over Snapchat, so they added me on Snapchat and, and messaged me to message them, and I was like, okay. So I called them, and uh, it was about my video. So uh, for them to air it and, and all that stuff like that, air it and everything, they have to get my permission first. And they cross track reference something in that sort of range. My mom and uh, the thing the thing is they they were uh, they they were on the wrong side of town. What what they told me, and that her name was this name and it, and it wasn't that name and it, it was just very I, I just got like a little angry because no one really has like no one flat flatline right here on my deck flatline no one has proper permission besides me on my channel to do anything unless unless I give them permission and um, the lady that they interviewed she pretended to be my mom <laughs> just to like just, I don't even know just to make everything funny like she pretended and acted like she was my mom and she was like yeah you guys can go with the story and you guys can publish it and do all that and they're like interviewing her and I was getting, getting told this over her phone and I was like how what and they're like here at the store and they left and cross track referenced her and like they found her in a, the wrong side of town and I'm like what how what no it's totally wrong and and they apologize and everything there's no there's no harm or no problem there um and then she was uh the lady was saying that she couldn't get in contact with me and then it's cool to publish my video and they have all proof and all that i was like no no one really has proof for anything like i don't really let anybody uh you know go on my channel or anything like it's just always me and um yeah, it was just so weird. It was just so weird. I never got told that. And then I got told that. And I was like, uh, that's it's a, little, it's a little weirder. So, I mean, the me and the news company agency people, we're all like good good hands and everything. It's all good. Um, that was just like really, really weird. I never had that experience before. So, hearing that was like really weird. Because they're like, we talked to your mom. I was like, how? Like, how did you get in contact with her? Like, that's weird because she's been like home and stuff. So, I'm like. If anything, she would have called me immediately, cause she's she know I've been on the news like a ton. So if anything, she would have called me and like told me and been like, hey, these people are here, they want to talk to you, uh, blah blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. Got got ready and then went out and like had a whole interview with them. Like I wouldn't mind talking to the camera, answering questions. I usually do it all over the phone right now. Uh, I did one interview with Fox Five on camera, as you guys seen on the news, and uh, now I'm just like on all news channels around the world and they're like investigating the situation and the thing about it is they're, they're going a little crazy because like which is cool because I'm the only person that filmed it besides the officers that had their uh, uh, body cams on well the body cams like a GoPro when you when you put it on you jump around when you jump a lot and everything it, it shakes a lot so you're like you're missing valuable evidence when it when that happens you can't see everything super clear there are things about 720, 1080p, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just guessing. And I, I've seen a couple of footages of that, and it's just, it bounces so much like a GoPro. So it was it was a very, you know, big time of like luck where I got to uh, experience the incident firsthand, film it, the only person that has footage besides the officers that were in that traffic stop the shootout and all that happened besides them I have footage it's all over the internet and news agencies have it and they're all asking me to use it and everything it's really really cool and it's like 
this is super crazy how all this like went down. It was just a normal day. I was supposed to go ride and everything. Next thing I know, I'm filming a shootout. And then all this crazy stuff happens. So, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a cool but weird feeling. Because just so much at that time went through my mind. I couldn't, like, certain questions on the news they asked me, I did, like, you know you want to think about it, but you can't think. You just have to, like, kind of, like, go with the flow on the question that they answer and try to answer it as best as you can, just like if you're in school and taking a test. If you don't know it, answering it best. But I pretty much knew everything because I was, like, listening to um, all that was happening besides them actually talking to the driver. I was just filming everything, heard the gunshots, and they talked to me after, and I let you guys know everything and all that happened after and me re re reading the report and every single night going on certain different news channels and trying to find myself and all this chaos that's happening and um yeah so it's it's a very very crazy moment for me with all this but i'm trying my best to like handle it and everything um also i'm just gonna do this and i think probably tomorrow i'm gonna post a vlog i'm going i tried to vlog yesterday it kind of didn't work out because it got dark and it's, then it started raining at a certain point when i was at a skate park so like that was poo poo <sighs> and then like i just uh after that i like went and left and like rode somewhere else and I just didn't get to film as like I would want it to but I was too busy riding a little bit and then it started raining over there so I left and all that so I didn't really get to film that but I got some cool like HD type of cinema shots with the clouds and the, the cars driving and all that stuff so tomorrow I'm hopefully gonna be posting a vlog and not another update type of video type thing well I, I don't mind posting it but I could post two in one day but I don't know we will see um, I am working on three edits, a park edit, street edit, flat edit, uh, leave a comment down below which one would you like to see first because I got, uh, I asked that on my Instagram and I got comments about park first, someone said release them all, so the park one is like the main one on there on Instagram, now I want to see on YouTube which one would you guys like to see because you guys are going to be the ones actually like seeing the whole footage of it because I'm still, wor I'm still in the works of making it, it's just I need to know so I can focus on that one more and then focus on the other ones at the same time but a little bit down the road because I have to release those a little bit later so it's like step by step type of thing yeah um, also besides that yeah um, yeah everything's like overwhelming with this whole entire situation I'm um, still getting interviews calls messages so yeah and if anybody's watching this and you guys have a question about something you guys are trying to contact me. Um, best thing I can say is uh, comment on my YouTube video. If you guys have a question, I'll try my best to answer it. I usually go through it, like super late at night, and I go through like everything. And if like if, uh, if it's like a question or whatever, I like I, like I go answer it for you guys and everything. Um, I went through like almost like fifty something uh, uh, qu uh, comments uh, a day ago. And I answered all that for a couple people. Um, I had some hate comments, of course, but you know that that that's fine. People, you know, there's there's haters out there. I'm not really worried about it though. Like you hate, you just you just unappreciate. That makes sense. No, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot lot of people left a lot of good comments. So thank you guys very much for the support and all that I'm going through with this whole situation. I know some people didn't really like my uh, video because like there was cursing in it, but I mean people there's cursing everywhere every single where in life elementary school middle school high school college the strip other side of the universe the ocean every single where there's cursing so don't try to make and like this is my channel so don't if like if you just want to post a ne negative comment just go don't even post it just go off my channel because this channel is all about positivity and fun stuff so I try to make all my videos and all my vlogs and all this super freaking interesting for you guys so you guys love the content that I make and I just don't need someone trying to bring other people down or me down and like just, just don't don't do that just do what you got to do you like you don't you know if you like the video you know leave a cool comment share it uh, like it of course subscribe if you don't like it dude like you don't, like you could press a dislike button and then leave like you don't really need to spend your time literally putting going through all the comments and whatever because it's like you you already watched my video so you already gave me uh, a freaking a view and second of all you're spending more time on my channel 
which is good, but at the same time, you're putting a hate comment, which, I mean, if, 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 even if you think it's funny, it's really not funny, because it's, no one's laughing about it, but, uh, yeah, so, don't really do that, so if you're leaving a hate comment, then just, like, leave my channel, don't really try to come and bring people down, because this is not a channel to bring people down, I try to make people laugh, try to make people happy, try to do all this, like, there's just so much going on behind the scenes of this camera that you guys are like, wow, you're really dealing with that, like, there's a lot to deal with, like, a lot of pressure, work, filming, editing, sleeping, uh, eat, like, there's just so much going on behind the scenes, and, like, phone calls, like, non-stop, messaging, social media, just, everything's, like, blowing up, so, like, I try to answer my social media as much as possible every single day, but, I mean, there's just a point where I'm, like, I just, I just, like, put my phone down for a little bit, I listen to my music, and I'm just, like, I'm not really on, like, Facebook, or Instagram, or Twitter, and I'm, like, all on social media platforms, I'm getting messages, left and right, and I'm on the news, so all that. Um, yeah, that's all that's happening. Um, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new, cause I'm. Uh, this the, this channel is like a lot about scootering, and I know a couple. I know like a lot of famous people on scootering, but they do really cool, fun scootering stuff, and I try to make their videos and my videos kind of like somewhat the same-ish but not like copyright-ish but like somewhat the same but like fun entertaining like just just really something to enjoy to like lay back eat relax and just enjoy the video and enjoy the funness of watching it and all that goes into it uh yeah i mean there there is times that's cursing it's like you you know other youtubers hey words slip at times my bad but i mean I, I try to watch my mouth as possible, as much as possible, but I mean, at times, you know, it just, it's just whatever, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys have any, any questions about anything or whatever, then let me know. Um, yeah, I've been pretty, like, busy, like, every single day, uh, messages on top of messages on top of messages, uh, yeah, just going through, like, a lot. So, even the people, like, next to me, they literally look at my phone, and they're like, Damn, you get hella messages. Like, there's like over 50, 60 messages on Facebook. Like, there's a lot. Instagram, Twitter. I usually never get stuff on Twitter. I get like a lot of stuff on Twitter, which is crazy. Uh, especially on YouTube. YouTube's like the main, the biggest platform because it's like the videos on there, and it's almost about to hit 14k. It's like it's crazy because when I uploaded it after 12, 20 ish. Uh, it was at like 63 views the moment I woke up it was at 908 views and I refreshed it 30 some minutes later and it was like at 1.4k I was like damn this is hella going up like it was crazy but I mean you know I don't know it's, it's whatever um, yeah but I, I, I really cannot believe I actually got to witness that firsthand. I got to film everything I got the question why did I keep filming and th 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 this is what you probably see on the news channel and um, the question about that and I know they recorded me because they asked me for my consent to record me talking about that so the reason why I kept recording all through from the moment like I reported to the shooting and like all through when the SWAT came and all that well because youtubers they have to record as much as possible correct so let's say someone that's not super used to a camera and that's not used to like talking to a camera or filming stuff like really bad crazy stuff that happens um you just you just try to keep filming as much as possible and i just keep looking off sorry guys i'm just i have to like try to concentrate looking at stuff so my bad if i'm not, not looking at a camera but i try filming as much as i can um while i was filming it I'm pretty lucky that the shots didn't come towards the actual scooter store. They were going like road, like each type of the road. I was just, it was really scary because, um, well, it wasn't really scary. Okay, the thing about this, but I got messed up on the news, was because I repeated the story over five times to like a ton of different people. So this part met, messed me up a little bit. Where they like, you're scared or you're not scared of the shooting. Okay, well, the people that started hating on that. Um, listen guys, you, if you have never been in front of a shooting, you have no room to talk. That, it's, it's a little mind bending because a bullet can come towards where you're standing. Where I was filming, if so happened, 
someone got out of the car, you know, the guy was in the truck, or the cop turned this way and they like started shooting towards the store, I could have could have died or got shot. Honestly, I was literally like right here filming this whole thing happen. Like, I literally could have got hurt, but unfortunately, I'm very lucky and no bullets came towards the shop. Nothing was injured and everything, or I wasn't injured. Um, officer, he's in good condition. Um, unfortunately, I'm very sorry f for the family members and the friends and everybody that knew the guy in the pickup truck that uh, passed away. I'm very sorry for your loss. I have to say that. I have had some family members reach out to me about that and about a certain questions and stuff and I answer them as best as I can so I'm very sorry for your loss again and it was just uh, it was just it was just crazy cuz like you don't you don't see that every single day like you don't witness a police shootout and actually get it on footage like newscaster that I was talking to certain ones were like you're pretty cool for standing there still while this was going on because half of the people were like they would have ran literally like ran away and hid cuz not many people could stand there and literally start keep filming what's happening and I'm like a cool what yard or so away or a couple feet somewhat in the couple feet as like 20 feet or so 30 whatever like that but it's like it's like right there happening in front of you work so every single day I come to work or I come by the shop or something now it's in my mind I filmed an a a viral video incident that happened right in front of where I work that someone lost their life. I literally have to deal with that while coming to work this like dealing with me having to like know, know that that happened literally right there. When, when I was working I filmed like you guys that was crazy. So just, just all that happened was it was just a little too much while I was filming yeah I, I was scared and I wasn't scared. It, it was a it was a 50 50 percent chance to a 100. If that makes any sense at all, because I know I don't make sense at times, but bear with me. So I I was scared, but I wasn't. I just kept filming, but I was like I I just I I can't you know I just yeah I gotta keep filming. So I was just like filming the whole entire time. Let me try to make this a little better. Like the whole entire time I was like filming, and I just I couldn't leave. I just I couldn't. Like, my body was saying, no, you, you have to film this. So I, I kept on filming. That's what I had to do. So that's what I kept on doing. And all, after all the news agencies and while all of them call me up, I'm on live news and everything. I'm still filming this from, like, upstairs. The SWAT coming and breaking in the windows and looking at him and taking out his, the weapon that he had and, and the, the standoff. While... They were talking, I was talking on the phone, they were calling me, asking me about my name, number, uh, who I am, how did I witness it, I got footage, blah, 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 blah. I'm literally still filming this, guys, and it's like on my phone, on the store's phone, I'm like filming the whole entire thing, and I'm like dealing with all these people trying to get in contact with me, because I'm the one person that has the freaking 1080p 4K video, and I'm the only person that has the only other shot besides the damn body cam so sorry to scream at you guys I'm just like ugh. um yeah so that's pretty much about it I'm just gonna wrap it up now I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys got a little bit on more of an understanding towards me a little bit more of like whatever I went through and um all that is for like the people that I you, you know, people for me being on the news and everything you guys like seeing me and you guys are like wow you really like he really just like filmed that like thanks this guys for the support the comments just, just just everything overall and uh i will see you guys tomorrow and i'm hoping that i am uploading a vlog and possibly like a little a little fun scooter edit um so yeah after this i'm going to go and ride so I'm going to go deal with all of that. So, guys, thank you guys just so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm doing a 5K video, 5K giveaway. Either you get a freaking win brand new, like, $500 shoes, or you get a freaking Envy, the, the highest complete Envy scooter. You guys just pick the color. Um, the moment I hit 5K subs on YouTube, 
I will be picking a winner. The way you enter, you would have to go to my Instagram, Steven17Scoots. You literally go there, you go down, it'll say 5K, video, 5K giveaway video. It's like a scooter and like shoes and I'm like holding it. And you, you literally like screenshot that. You put a hashtag, I think it's uh, Steven Scoots 5K or Steven Scoots 5K giveaway. Or the instructions are right below it. So you can like literally like go look at that. And you have to like follow me and my uh, YouTube, but you subscribed and follow me. And um, if you're doing that, then after I get 5K, I'm literally gonna pick a person, and the person's gonna get a DM from me, and then that's just gonna go from there. And then after you get whatever you get, just make sure to send me photos and videos so I can show it to the vlog and show them show to everybody that um. Let me take a drink. That uh, you got that, and that you're happy about that, and all that you know stuff. So, um, again, thank you guys so much. I'm ending it here, um, and I'm about to go and shoot another video with vlogging or something like that. So, yeah, and also I got to clean my scooter while I'm here because I always do that. So, yeah, and uh, if you guys have any questions or you guys want some scooter parts, come down to the store, check it out. Um, besides that, if you guys have any questions, whatever, comments or my social media, best way to reach me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much, and you'll be seeing me on the news for the next couple days, I'm guessing. So, thanks again. Peace out, guys.